Hello guys and welcome in the world of proteins. Proteins are effector, so they have functions, and these functions are parts of life. Well, this guy is a SARS coronavirus, and as you can see, the top red spike proteins protrudes out of the viral envelope, and they are responsible for the current aspect observed in electronic microscopy. Eventually, this big one is a trimer. It is composed of three spike proteins tacked together. This trimer is the virus entry K that allows host cell infection. When the top part of the spike protein, named receptor binding domain, and counter is receptor, they bind together and the virus is locked on the surface of the host cell. Well, now to make the thing more simple, let's just consider a single chain out of three of a spike protein. And you will see that the binding process trigger a conformational change of the protein. This conformational change may contribute to improve the binding affinity of the spike protein for its receptor. We can observe here that a part of the receptor binding domain is buried into its receptor. The more it is buried, the more the affinity is high. This is now another representation, named ribbon representation, of the molecular complex. The receptor S2 is on the top and the receptor binding domain is just below. This representation allows us to visualize interatomic interaction. This Atomic interaction are depicted here as green lines. The more they are green lines, the more the affinity of the receptor binding for its receptor is I. At last, another kind of contribution to affinity are pockets, and particularly hydrophobic pockets. A pocket is a cavity inside a protein that can accept the ligands, like this tyrosine side chain. You can also look at the top part of the S2 protein, where there is a nudge and complex pocket. This is the enzymatic site of the S2 protein, which can receive a big ligand, the angiotensin 2, which is a mediator of hypertension. Thanks for listening and watching.